All right, so back in the garage today, uh, whenever I took out the inner fender, I noticed, uh, I've, I've heard an exhaust leak before from the truck, but it's not real noticeable with the engine noise and, uh, and the exhaust, but um, I, whenever I pulled the inner fender here, I noticed the bolt was here. I took it out to get some new hardware. There's a bolt on the back side and this bolt. Uh, but as you can see, they're not there. Whenever I pulled the cover, the inner fender cover off, the the nuts weren't there. It was just the bolts. So I got new hardware, and I'm going to uh, get that tight again. And hopefully that takes care of that exhaust leak I was hearing. So right now, uh, I'm put these uh, bolts in this exhaust manifold pipe it's temporary I just put this in here I got some new bolts I gotta put the back side in and then I'm gonna change this out I got a longer bolt and uh, I just put this in temporarily it's got that nylon locking thread that'll melt out of there so uh, I have some longer 516 bolts and I'm gonna probably double nut it if I can just to keep it from falling off again so that's what I'm doing now so on the front and back side of that flange, I ran a little bit longer 516 stainless steel bolt through there, a washer on both sides, a lock washer, and I double nutted it. Um, and hopefully, those don't come back apart. So got that back together. Next step's probably going to be to run the uh, glow plug harness on both sides and then put everything on top of the motor back together. So today I'm working on putting the glow plug harness in. Um, the longer harness is the passenger side. So if you have both harnesses, the longer one goes on the passenger side. As you can see, those mate with your glow plugs themselves. They have an O-ring because you're going through the side of the, uh, the engine there. And there's oil in there so these o-rings and seal it up I'm going to put a little bit of lube on these o-rings just to hopefully help them slide in to the boss um, and then we're gonna route it up and plug it in just have to put both sides on and then we can put everything on the top of the motor there's no real good place to put you for this uh, let's see if I can find a spot here out of the way. I'm probably not going to be able to show you but I'm just going to put some lube on here and just push them in. You can see the uh, the stud for the glow plug is going to, this is going to go over it so we'll push that in and we just go on down the line and then I'll show you up top. There's the first one I pushed on. You can see about how far in it goes. It slides in pretty simple. Um, let me see. You can see one right there. Uh, the next one is right there. And the last one is right there. And then the harness is going to go up. And we'll see up top where it connects. So I'm going to slide those remaining three in. You can see I got that one in, it's the farthest one back, and then that one, there's one, the third one there, and the most forward one right there. Um, they didn't, that forward one for whatever reason didn't want to seat all the way, so I just put a long screwdriver on the, on the lip and just tapped it lightly with a dead blow and it went right in so they're all inserted on this side then up top all right got that re adjusted on there taped on it's on that stud that's clipped on that stud and that keeper there for the wire harness is on that stud now I got this routed underneath this hose and 
We just have to connect it up now. There we go. If you heard it clip. So once you get it on all the way, clip it. And that is on there. So that's the glow plug harness for the passenger side. Tomorrow I'll put the driver's side on. I gotta go to work. Alright, now I'm gonna put the driver's side uh, glow plug harness on. You can see that's the farthest most back, I believe number eight glow plug right there. And then as you go forward, Six is up there, or right there, four, and then it's hard to see, but two is all the way up under there, so I'm going to run this harness. It's a little bit shorter than the other side. Uh, got the harness here, pretty simple. You can see it's only about a two foot harness. Um, that'll go on a stud. And then we'll lock the connector on. I'm going to put a little bit of lube on these O-rings so they go in easier. And push them in the holes. Alright, here's the uh, passenger side glow plug harness. You can see the number 8 plug right there. And just in front of it is number 6. Um, that one got a little messed up. I used a screwdriver to tap it on. you got to be careful with the soft plastic. Then, I don't know if you can see up ahead, it's number 4. I got it seated, and then luckily the biggest pain in the butt one is right here. It's hard to hard to see right there. Is um, number two, and it actually pushed right in. Thank God, because that's the hardest one to get to. But uh, if you use a long screwdriver and go through all these harnesses and get on that lip, you can tap it lightly and get it in. Just gotta watch you don't mess it up. So I'm gonna go up top now and get the. Uh, connector get the routed and so the connector goes on right here and then this red piece goes across like so and then you just once it's seated all the way this goes all the way across like that get your harness routed and then now I'm to the point of putting everything on the top of the motor um, computer ducks batteries I mean it's another two hours or so and it could be uh, potentially running all right so I'm ready to put the fuel injector control module on fix them this right here you can see there's three connectors on the bottom. I've had mine rebuilt. Um, and if you, see, it can only go in one way. It's going to go in with the connectors on the towards the middle um, passenger side middle. Uh, you can see there's a longer connector and two shorter connectors. Um, it's pretty simple. So, so it's going to sit like this. And uh, I got to get I'm going to get the three connectors hooked up first, set it on. And then this plate goes over the top like this and there's two 10 millimeter nuts that go on. And this plate goes in the back down into those um, nut plates. And there are two 8 millimeter bolts. You should start with the farthest one in the rear. Lighting's poor, I'm sorry. It looks like I got the three connectors in. It's a lot of it's by feel. Alright, so this bracket with the two 8 millimeter bolts goes on top. So basically on the back side it'll go right here and you'll run the bolts down through. On the front it gets nuts.
pick these two up. Tight, computers installed. 